Whether you guys are selling golf clubs on eBay and Amazon, or you're just shipping out a golf club to your great uncle a few states over, this video is gonna teach you guys how to package and ship golf clubs in the most effective way possible. I'm going to go over three different methods to actually ship these golf clubs out, and then I'm going to show you how to package them to ship them out. The first method is the simplest, but also the most expensive. You're paying for convenience here. You're gonna to go to your USPS store, or you can go onto their site and have the boxes shipped to you for free. These are the USPS priority tubes. Now you have to understand that the USPS has a new policy where they have surcharges after certain lengths of items. After 22 inches, you are charged an additional $4. And after 30 inches, you are charged an additional $8.40. The average golf club is about 38 to 42 inches, and even putters are usually 33 inches plus. So you're gonna be paying an additional $8.40 for this convenience. This is not the method that I recommend, and let's hop into the ones that I do recommend. The method that I recommend using is UPS Ground. This, you're able to ship golf clubs such as irons and putters and wedges for about $9 to $13, depending on where it's going in the country. I live in Utah. If I ship to Nevada, it's usually about like $8.50. If I ship all the way to the point of Maine, all the way on the other side of the country, it's still usually only about $12.50. If you go to UPS on your own, it is not going to be nine to $13. It's going to be significantly higher. So if you guys are selling on Shopify, Amazon, eBay, definitely go ahead and ship through these websites, they're able to get e-commerce business discounts. Because they're shipping so many items through USPS, UPS, and FedEx every single day, these websites are able to go to these companies and say, hey, we're giving you so much business, give us better discounts and give us better products. And so these companies make out these agreements to where you can ship things for significantly less. If you're just shipping this to your uncle a few states over, you're going to want to head over to a site called Pirate Ship. You can also do this on Shippo or a couple different websites. Three quick methods for acquiring the boxes. The first one, you can just buy a 48 by 5 by 5 boxes off of Amazon or Uline. A second way is you can just go to a used golf shop and you can ask them, hey, do you guys have any boxes I can use to ship a golf club? The majority of these store owners will just give you the box for free or you can buy them for two or three dollars. Or you can go out back and get these boxes out of the dumpster. They are constantly getting in new golf clubs and they're just throwing the box away. And then the third one is you can use any old box in your house from Amazon or wherever. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Believe it or not, you can ship a golf club in a box like this, or even like this. Let me show you how. Okay, so we have our box right here. All you're gonna do is lay it flat, and then you're gonna go ahead and just cut the side of it. If I can cut it. Now it's going to be long enough that you're actually gonna be able to shoot your golf club. Now we have our golf club here. You can go ahead and wrap it in a little bit of bubble wrap. Then you're just going to place it right here. This is a perfect length box. I'm just gonna cut off this excess. And then all you're gonna do is fold these over. You can either put it into a triangle like this, or you can just fold it flat. And that's going to create a box for the golf club. Then you're just going to simply tape it up and you're gonna be able to ship it out. This is what it looks like, all wrapped up. It's good to go. I ship out about 50 golf clubs a month using this method. You're just gonna go ahead and print off your label. Just slap it anywhere on this box. And this is gonna go anywhere from $9 to $13 across the country. All right, now we're gonna head over to Pirate Ship. This is a free account. You don't have to even put in a credit card or anything. You're gonna go to the rates page and then we're gonna go ahead and put in the dimensions of our package. I already measured it. It's 38 by five by three and it only weighs two pounds. And then we're gonna ship this out to New Jersey. Um, so all clear across the country gonna go ahead and we're gonna get our rate quote. Normally it would have cost me $30 to ship it out there by myself, but through this website, I'm able to do it for $12.58, very inexpensive. Now, if I was just to ship this, I don't know, two miles down the road from me, um, I would put in this zip code. Normally, if I did this on my own, it would be over 15 bucks, but because of this website, it goes for 667. So you definitely want to utilize this. This doesn't just have to be golf clubs. You can obviously use it for baseball bats, posters, things like that. If you want to ship out long items like this, go ahead and use these methods.